radioactivity. The phenomenon radioactivity was found by Henry Becquerel in the year 1896. Once he kept uranium salt with a photographic plate in his cupboard and he found that the photographic plate got exposed even in the absence of light. He repeated the experiment several times and each time he found that the photographic plate got exposed and he confirmed that there are some rays which originates from uranium salts and that affect the photographic plate. He called the rays as uranic rays. Later, in the year 1898, Marie Curie, she already done a lot of experiments with this type of materials. She found uh, two more materials, radium and polonium, and she given the name radioactivity for this phenomena. Radioactivity is the process of decay or disintegration of a heavier element to lighter ones with the emission of powerful radiations. Features of radioactivity When a nuclide undergoes alpha or beta decay, it will become nucleide of another element. It is due to change in atomic number, which is the number of proton. The energy liberated comes from within the individual nucleus without excitation. Here, the energy comes through the process E equal to mc square. It is a statistical process, which means it obeys chance. Types of radioactivity There are five types of radioactive decay process. One is alpha decay, second one is beta decay, and electron capture, positron emission, gamma decay. First one, alpha decay. If the nucleus is too large or the size of the nucleus may be the reason for instability, in such a cases, alpha decay will occur. Alpha particles are nothing but helium nucleus, which contains two protons and two neutrons. If a particle emits an alpha particle, Its atomic number will reduce by 2 and its mass number will reduce by 4. That means uranium-238, if it emit an alpha particle, it will become thorium-234. Beta decay. If the number of neutrons is too much compared to the number of protons, in such cases, the most probable decay process is beta decay. Here, a neutron changes to a proton with the emission of an electron and antineutrino. That means neutron gives proton plus electron plus antineutrino. Here, the atomic number will increase by 1. That means neutron changes to a proton means uh, the number of proton increases. That by uh, number of proton is nothing but the atomic number. So thereby the atomic number changes or increases by 1. Material will change to a new element. You can see cobalt-60 which will change to nickel-60. There are 27 protons in cobalt-60 and 28 protons in nickel-60. The number of neutrons is 33 in cobalt-60, whereas it is 32 in nickel-60. Next process is electron capture. If there are too many number of protons relative to the number of neutrons, the possible or most probable uh, one of the procedure is electron capture. Here, the proton will absorb an electron and thereby it will change to a neutron. Here, the process is Proton plus electron gives neutron plus neutrino. There will be as a proton changes to a neutron, the atomic number will decrease by 1. Another process is positron emission. Here also number of proton will be higher compared to the number of neutron. And if this is base causes of instability, then this process will occur. Here the equation is proton gives neutron plus positron plus uh, neutrino. The number of proton will reduce by 1. That means the atomic number will reduce by 1. Thus, the nuclide transformed to a new nuclide. For example, copper-64 transforms to nickel-64 with the emission of a positron, gamma decay. If the in reason for instability is the excess amount of energy, then the most probable decay process is gamma decay. An unstable nuclei will change to a stable nuclei with the emission of a gamma photon. 38 strontium-87 given like in a star or asterisk will change to 38 strontium-87 plus gamma photon. The excess energy will be liberated like a gamma photon. Today we have discussed different types of radioactive processes. Radioactivity is the process of decay or disintegration of a heavier element to a lighter one with the emission of powerful radiation. There are five categories what we have discussed. One is alpha decay, another is beta decay, positron emission, electron capture and gamma decay. Thank you.